The DGCOS Double Glazing and Conservatory Ombudsman Scheme is an independent UK regulatory body, whose agenda includes vetting of suppliers, guaranteeing customer access to industry inspectors, and protecting members against unfounded complaints. Topic background The DGCOS, or Double Glazing and Conservatory Ombudsman Scheme, was established in early 2010 to provide an independent regulatory body for UK's double glazing and conservatory industry. The DGCOS was launched in May 2010 with the backing of consumer advocate Nick Ross, a former presenter of BBC's Consumer Program. Program Watchdog TV series. Topic: The UK's double glazing and conservatory sector. The double glazing and conservatory industry in the UK is large, with 14,000 window, door and conservatory companies operating, an investigation by Consumer Magazine which indicated that the UK's double glazing industry had a lack of transparency regarding prices, acknowledging the importance of the industry ensuring that all traders were reputable. Topic vetting standards DGCOS ensures all member businesses have gone through a 12-point vetting process which includes, submitting references of 10 jobs completed in the past 12 months submitting three supplier references ensuring professional contracts, terms and conditions and written guarantees are in place that they offer insurance-backed guarantees for at least 10 years years ensure the installer has a professional complaints process with nominated complaints handler that they are fully covered with public liability insurance EDGCOS is an independent organization paid for by installers and does not charge consumers. Topic benefits Consumers a free quote for a DGCOS member An information pack which explains the protections offered by the scheme Free comprehensive written guarantee Free deposit protection Free insurance backed guarantee To underwrite the guarantee if the installer ceases to trade Free access to industry inspectors, mediators and an ombudsman where all decisions are are legally binding and enforceable free access to a compensation fund which will pay out bona fide claims to compensate homeowners where traders fail to live up to their promises, traders' protection to its members' businesses in situations where customers withhold payments or make unfounded complaints, allowing them to claim for unpaid contracts in cases where the ombudsman has found in favor of the installer and the customer refuses to pay installers are given marketing and point-of-sale materials to assist them gaining new clients. Back office management systems to automatically produce guarantees, comply with building control regulations ongoing performance analysis to enable installers to monitor their performance in eight key areas. The Consumer Protection Report DGCOS commissioned a new report into the double glazing industry. The Consumer Protection Report is deeply critical of continuing failures in consumer protection. Most of the schemes have flaws and many of the reassuring logos used by double glazing companies are simply labels for trade associations rather than formal warranty schemes like ABTA. People paying for double glazing or conservatories still need to be on their guard against poor or worthless guarantees. 
Even in recession hit 2009, homeowners in Great Britain spent £3.17 billion on maintaining and improving their homes with double glazing and conservatories. The report details the actual levels of protection enjoyed by homeowners who buy windows, doors and conservatories, in contrast to the protection they think they have from the large numbers of organizations that offer it. David Herman's recommendations will provide a blueprint for consumer protection bodies and key questions for homeowners to ask before buying double glazing or conservatories. Report findings At least 20 different schemes operate in the sector with widely differing levels of protection. A badge or letterhead showing that an installing firm is a member of a consumer protection organization may not necessarily mean that all its customers are protected and the scope of protection varies wildly. This is true of most organizations with some notable exceptions. The protection is thus only as good as the services offered by the Consumer Protection Organization or Trade Association. It also depends on which organization, s the installing company chooses to become a member of. To further complicate matters, many installers have discretion as to whether or not to offer some or all of the protection available. Insurance-backed guarantees are a key part of consumer protection but very few organizations make it an obligation for their members to provide every customer with one. Also the level of cover can be limited because of restricted terms and conditions by the insurer, which often leaves the consumer without protection. When things go wrong there is a «black hole» in dealing with disputes. Many of the organizations are trade associations set up for the benefit of their members the installers but which offer some form, s of consumer protection. Others are deposit protection and insurance-backed guarantee providers or facilitators of building regulations compliance that have added other consumer services, although these may not be obvious from the name. A number of organizations say they require their members to provide consumers with deposit protection or an insurance-backed guarantee for example, but it is unclear how many members comply with this obligation or indeed how the organization would ensure that they do. One organization, DGCOS, has been set up specifically to plug these gaps and provide a comprehensive consumer protection service. Notes External links Topic official site Double Glazing and Conservatory Ombudsman Scheme, Official Site, Double Glazing and Conservatory Ombudsman Scheme Topic News BBC News, 5 April 2010, Ombudsman to Tackle Rogue Glazers, http colon slash slash news dot bbc dot co dot uk slash one slash high slash uke slash eight six five eight nine one seven dot stm 
The Guardian, the 23rd of June 2010. Major window firms attacked for misleading public. https colon slash slash www.theguardian.com slash money slash 2010 slash jun slash 23 slash window dash firms dash misleading dash public. The Independent, the 5th of September 2010. Tide turns in fight against the rogue double glazers. https colon slash slash www.independent.co.uk slash money slash spend dash save slash tide dash turns dash in dash fight dash against dash the dash rogue dash double dash glazers dash one nine six eight nine four nine dot html Crane's Manchester business, the 5th of May 2010. New double glazing ombudsman opens office in Manchester. https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two o one o o five o eight two o one eight four o slash http colon slash slash www dot cranes Manchester business slash article slash two o one o o five o five slash free slash one o o five o nine nine five nine Manchester Evening News, the 5th of April 2010. Don't have nightmares about double glazing. HTTP colon slash slash menmedia dot co dot uk slash news slash business slash s slash one two three eight seven six seven underscore don't underscore have underscore nightmares underscore about underscore double underscore glazing. Lancashire Evening Post, the 6th of May 2010. Conservatory firm customers will not lose money. HTTP colon slash slash www.lep.co.uk slash news slash conservatory underscore firm underscore customers underscore will underscore not underscore lose underscore money underscore one underscore six. 3870 Northwest Evening Mail the 14th of June 2010 Consumer Champ backs new scheme https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two o one two one o o nine o o five four o five slash http colon slash slash w dot noemail dot co dot uke slash news slash action dash desk Slash consumer dash champ dash backs dash new dash scheme dash one seven hundred twenty thousand two hundred eighty referrer path equals news percent two faction desk. Topic Trade Trading Standards Institute, https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two o one o o seven two one two three four three o six slash http colon slash slash w dot trading standards dot gov dot uke slash extra slash useful links dot cfm question mark frem Alias equals percent two fuseful percent two F Glass and Glazing Products Magazine, the fifth of May twenty ten, https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two o one one o seven one one o nine one six three three slash http colon slash slash ggmag dot com slash news item dot asp question mark equals 403
Architects Data File, the 25th of May 2010. Architects Data File, https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two o one one o nine o four o seven o eight two nine slash http colon slash slash w dot architects data file dot co dot uke slash press release slash press release ASPX company name equals double plus glazing plus and plus conservatory plus ombudsman plus scheme plus DGCOS and title equals Nick plus Ross plus launches plus new plus consumer plus champion plus fur plus the plus double glazing plus and plus conservatory plus trade.